Right, so let's look at the common encryption and decryption algorithm. Now, so first of all, we have something called the stream cipher and we have block cipher. Now, stream cipher is actually uh, used to encrypt an information which is an ongoing, uh, ongoing network stream. So, for example, for network traffic, uh, stream cipher would be a, a better choice. Uh, for example, the uh, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi kind of a uh, environment. Uh, actually, Wi-Fi uses a lot of uh, stream uh, cipher algorithm, and this is uh, one of the popular one. It's called the RC4, and then for block, it's actually good for uh, block transfer. Okay, that means a packet by packet transfer. And this is actually, uh, we have DAS, DES, and we have the uh, uh, triple DAS, okay? So DAS actually stands for, uh, DAS actually stands for Data Encryption Symmetric. Sorry. Uh, DAS stands for Data Encryption Standards, okay? Then we have the triple DAS, we have AES and IDA and RC2. RC5, RC6, SM1, SM4. Okay, so these are actually the higher it goes, the uh, more bits is used to do the encryption. So it means a higher protection, and it's actually slower to decrypt and encrypt. Okay, so let's look like let's look at the uh, asymmetric cryptography algorithm. Okay, so here we have a, a common three types of uh, asymmetric encryption uh, algorithm. So the first, let's talk about DH. Now DH actually stands for Diffie Helmut. Now this is actually was developed by two persons. One is called Dr. Uh, Withew Diffie and also Do Dr. Martin Helmut in the in the mid 70s, about somewhere in the 76. Now this algorithm is not meant for encryption or this decryption, but is uh, encryption. Sorry, it's an algorithm to enable two parties who are involved in communication to generate a shared secret key for exchanging information uh, the secret way. Okay, so the next one is um, RSA. Now RSA stands for Reversed, Shamil, and Adamant. And this is by three person Ron Reversed, Eddie Shamil, and Len Adamant. So they release this uh, algorithm. We call, they call it the public key algorithm in the uh, in the seven in the late seventies, and this algorithm can be used to encrypt and also to sign the data. So the encryption and this, <coughs> so so this is a bit different compared to the previous uh, uh, Diffie uh, Hellman, uh, as uh, as this one allows uh, for encryption and also to sign. Okay. And the last one is called the DSA, which is called Digital Signature Algorithm. So this is actually an algorithm that was developed uh, by the United States uh, government for, dig for digital signature. So DSA, Digital Signature Algorithm, can be used for signing data and cannot be used for encryption. So the <coughs> so uh, so just to give you some comparison. So when DSA is used, the process of creating a digital signature is faster than validating it. But when RSA is used, the process of validating the digital signature is faster than creating it. Okay. So here are some basic idea of DSA, DH, RSA, and DSA. So next we talk about the hash algorithm. Now, first of all, hash algorithm converts any input of any length into an output of a fixed length. Okay, so now convert any input of any length. So, example, the the data size or maybe the whole entire data size could be like as big as maybe one terabyte of information, or it could be one megabyte of information, and the output is actually a fixed length. Okay. So different algorithm, different hash algorithm, will have a different length of a uh, size, okay. And also different algorithm. Um, so the the algorithm here is actually a fixed uh, algorithm. So which means no matter where you you, you apply the algorithm, 
um, so you you will always get the same the same result you given the same content uh, with the same algorithm you will definitely get the same result okay so let's say for example if somebody from a side want to send something to b side and you want to ensure that the, the content is exactly how you sent out so you actually run to a hash algorithm for example using md5 SHA or maybe an nm3 and then you send it over to the your your receiver so once the receiver receives, the receiver can actually run through the same algorithm and then to generate the value and this value should be the same as what uh, the sender mentioned okay so this is actually to ensure that the content has not been tampered okay during the, the process of uh, trans transmission okay so we have a, a md5 message digest algorithm SHA secure hash algorithm and Cine mid middle three algorithm we come to the end of the topic so let's look at the quiz okay question one which of the following items are symmetric crypt cryptography algorithm so the answer here is C uh, DES and DAS Okay, question two. Which of the following algorithm is used by digital envelopes? Okay, and the so answer is symmetric cryptography and also the asymmetric cryptography. All right, so here's the summary of this topic. What are the difference between symmetric and asymmetric cryptography algorithms? We discuss about that, and we discuss the mechanism of digital envelopes. And what is the problem of the digital signature solved? Okay, so we did mention about what's the problem of digital envelopes, and then after that, and we we use a digital signature to solve the problem. And also, what are the common sy symmetric cryptography algorithm? We also spoke about some asymmetric crypto uh, cryptography algorithm, and finally, we spoke about the hash algorithm. So all these few algorithm are very important in the in the world of encryption and decryption. Thank you.